All right, how's it going, guys? Templar here, and today I, we are going to be talking about season two Wrath of Nomads. It's coming on December nineteenth. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded anything, but a lot has kind of changed in my life. I ended up moving to a new place, and then the internet wouldn't be installed for like thirty days, and yeah, so kind of sucked. But I guess. My Calm and Boomy Games have decided to give us a little treat before Christmas, so let's talk about what's in Wrath of the Nomads. So Wrath of the Nomads are about steppy units. There are six new units. You got the Namkan Archers, that are tier 3, the Schlemshid Chivalry, which are tier 3, the Korchins, which are tier 3, the Tesserig Swordsman, tier 4, Kvudelkav, tier 4, and the Keshigs, tier 5. Um, so the way we're going to be unlocking these units is you got to do challenges, kind of like Season 1. And when you do the challenges, you will acquire the unit uh, for free in the research tree, so you don't have to spend honor. Now I'm double checking with MyCom or Booming Games, whoever can give me the answer. I already sent the emails out. Basically asking if they will be keeping the units in the game, because some people are concerned that they wouldn't and it would be a limited time unit. But I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they will be in the game available for honor still. So, essentially, these units are going to bring us four new calf, one new archer, and one new swords unit. Um, also, with Season 2, we'll be getting a new battle pass. And uh, there's going to be over 100 levels, it's saying in this uh, email I got from them. There'll be season ex exclusive rewards, like the first one. Although, they've specifically said in the email they will make it easier to get your levels this time. The whole season's obviously themed around the nomadic tribes, so there will be a lot of gear with like bones and wolf fur and a lot of crazy stuff like that. Antlers all over it, so it, look, it looks pretty cool in some of the photos. They also said they will be giving us three new battlefields, so we'll have an Allen, Allenberg, which is a siege, Emerald River, which is a 15 versus 15 field battle, and a cliff duel, which is deathmatch. But during this update, which I don't really agree with, but I'm assuming Booming Games have to, has to give MyCom the new versions of the maps. They're going to be rotating maps out to update them and give them new tweaks to make them a little easier. And they've also specifically said in the email they're going to be introducing open world matchmaking, UI changes, new ranking and player title systems, weekly challenges, and even more. So like I said, it's coming out on December 19th. And yeah, hopefully the battle pass is going to be good. I know the first one, I, I mean, I personally spent quite a bit of bucks on it. But I'm hoping it's not going to be like the last one. Maybe they could just keep it to like level 100 max and just make better rewards at each level. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's with season two. For my own channel, I got uh, content creator. Um, I guess I'll throw the link on there. I don't expect you guys to buy any boxes. It's not I'm not forcing them out. It's just there if you want to support me. It's uh, the code's going to be Templar. We put it up on the screen. I'll put the link. Um, there's some good boxes on there, I guess. I, I bought them all, but that's just me. I like to buy in-game items, so. Yeah, and after this, especially with the new units and the new season, um, we'll be playing a lot more. I'll be getting some, some content up. Uh, if you guys want anything specific like usual, just, just put a comment on there. Tell me what you want. I'll do it. It's not that big of a deal. I'm also... Uh, I just bought all the Adobe packs, so I'm working with new video edited software and new voice software, so that should improve greatly from what I've been doing. And yeah, um, what are your guys' favorite units? You got any favorites? Feel free to comment, and uh, maybe we can get a good list of the top units that are used in the game. And if you like the video, uh, subscribe, leave a little notification if you want, and um, thanks for watching like usual. Have a good one, guys.